So, yeah. Bet you can't guess what we're talking about today. It's a little short for a stormtrooper. Huh? <sighs> uh, smells like ham in here. I, I don't know why. So, as most of you know, Star Wars has been re-released on the Blu-rays. There will be three box sets you can buy, none of which contain the unaltered trilogy. After all, why do something that makes sense? Instead, Toy Boy George has decided to change even more shit. Awesome. There have been hundreds of minor to major changes since the original release of the films. And it has become quite apparent that the chubby, tinkering little fingers of Lord Lucas will never stop violating the original Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> if perfectionism is a disease, then Toy Boy George is terminal. And as he slips into the warm bathtub of senility, we are left scratching our heads asking, Why? Another ass-puckering song and dance in Jabba's palace? Or do you cut out Sebastian Shaw completely and slide in Hayden Christensen for Vader's unmasking and death? What little unnecessary touch-ups can we expect in this latest release? Let's take a look, shall we? Let's take a look! Oh, Ewoks. As little kids, we loved those forest versions of the Care Bear. They were cute and we would sing along to the Yub Nub song. Yub -nub. Later in life, we understood they were pretty lame. In all honesty, the Empire could have made slippers out of their stupid heads. That being said, someone was really bothered that they did not blink. <laughs> well, rest at ease, kids. Oh, look at that son of a bitch blink himself silly. Everything is gonna be alright now. Hey, remember Obi-Wan's Kraid Dragon call he used to stop the Sand People from raping Luke and the Bum? You wanna do it in my butt? In my butt? Or whatever it is Sand People do? Well, apparently it wasn't Kraid Dragonish enough. Thanks to the mastery of rectifying this injustice. So... inspired. Remember how powerful Luke's confrontation with the Emperor was at the end of Jedi? By refusing to strike down his father, young Skywalker set himself up for some major savage. Don't taste me, bro! Don't taste me! As Vader watched on, something snapped inside of him as he finally redeemed himself by vanquishing the Emperor. Actions definitely speak louder than words, right? No! Honestly, this shit writes itself. Why revisit the most laughable moment of Revenge of the Sith and stick it right into the ultimate climax of the saga? Less is more, and with Vader's dialogue, that's always been the case. Did Lucas think that up until now, we had no idea what was going on? Like, did he think that we thought it was originally a bear hug that went awry? Sure, I'm nitpicking. By and by, these latest changes shouldn't hamper your enjoyment of the trilogy. In fact, there is one alteration that stands out as being quite kick-ass. Who doesn't love them some Admiral Akbar? We all feel the good Admiral was underutilized, appearing briefly in Jedi. Well, thank goodness someone else felt the same way we do, because now Akbar has been given a more pivotal role throughout the trilogy. It's a trap! Get on top of it! I'm trying! It's a trap! In closing, allow me to stand on my soapbox one more time, Mr. Lucas. The quest for more money has reached its apex. Let it go. If you need to tinker around with Star Wars, go fix those shitty prequels. Leave the good flicks alone, okay? Or else taint their legacy as classics. And guess what? You didn't even direct the best two films in the series. Even more of a reason to back the f*** off. Boy, don't make me take off my earrings. As always, a special thank you to Think Geek for providing us with this awesome backdrop, which is still under construction, so stay tuned for that. And another big thanks to Geeks Are Sexy for providing me with this ever-so-sexy Boba Fett tea. So, uh, thank you guys. Thank you very much.
And, you know, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know you wanna. You know. Just a little bit. May the Force be with you. And stay geeky, my friends.